let's talk a minute about basic flaws in reasoning in theoretical physics. And let's start at the beginning, literally. Let's start at the beginning. Um, theoretical physicists uh, will start out with, and they're all guilty of this, they'll start out with this thinkification or what passes for it. How did it all begin? How did it all start? What started it? And you've got the big bong in there, and uh, it seems seems logical that that's a good starting point. Now, let's look at the facts here. Uh, pretend for a moment that this is a court of law, and uh, someone. <laughs> some bonehead um, says, well, you know, we're going to look into how it all began. <laughs> well, the first thing the judge would do is take his gavel and go bang, bang, bang. And he said, well, that's a classic case of begging the question because you haven't yet established that it had a start, that there was a beginning. Therefore, you can't ask the question. The question has no foundation, no basis. And therefore, it and everything that follows from it is out of there. Junk, garbage. Now, on top of that, the Big Bang weasels would have us believe that it started with a big bong, boing, and there everything was, and then there's the cosmic inflation like a balloon and all of this nonsense. First of all, all of the predictions they made following the big bong are patent nonsense. First off, at the top of the list, <laughs> at the top of the list, um, all of the predictions made following the decision that there was a big bong, a really big bong, really big, uh, have been proven false, every last one of them. Um, for example, uh, the assume, make an ass of you and me assumption at the beginning was that if you're looking out into the universe, you're looking back in time and you're gonna see baby galaxies and you're gonna see baby stars and baby early matter. And one of the things you're gonna see is uh, early, the early conditions of the universe, uh, you're going to have simple stuff like, uh, let's see, lithium, deuterium, helium, and hydrogen. And it's going to be in certain amounts and blah, blah, blah. This is one of the early predictions, all right? Well, that prediction was off by a country mile. Country mile. It's wrong, dead wrong. Um, now, Recently, there's been the James Webb telescopes uh, finding of looking out 96 billion years so far, far away and finding not baby galaxies, baby galaxies, not baby stars, oh, baby stars are so cute, like an anime character. No, that's not what they found. They found old galaxies. And this ties in with the old junk they found in the universe that was not supposed to be there. They knew this decades ago before the thing, 96 billion years into the uh, distance and finding uh, old galaxies. Um, they knew before this what was gonna happen because instead of finding 
new stuff and light stuff at the furthest extent of human lookification, they were finding old stuff, heavy elements, iron. Um, no matter how far they looked back, they didn't see new baby stuff. They saw old stuff. Now, because of that, that negates inflation. That negates everything, actually. It, 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 that negates a big bang. You don't need a big bang. We never needed a big bang. Um, out of empty space, you have pairs of uh, uh, antiparticles and particles, mostly that annihilate each other, or one another. It's more than two. And uh, but the occasional one gets through, and there, and there it is, and gradually you get collections or aggregations of little bitty particles, and there are billions and trillions and quadrillions of them, and eventually you get clouds of stuff, gas and dust and all kinds of freaky stuff, and eventually that stuff coalesces and forms accretion disks and solar systems and stars and planets and galaxies. And uh, because there is an inherent spin to particles, um, the cumulative effect of that is spin. And let's see now. That's all for now. That's food for thought. But the point being that theoretical physics is a house of cards. It has always been a house of cards. It's junk science. And the question, how did it all begin, is not science. That's religion. That's philosophy that makes theoretical physics a cult. It's not a science. They use a lot of math, but it's still not a science because its premise is fundamentally flawed. Bye for now. <laughs>